went to the Liberty Science Center in New Jersey. And at the time that I was there, I noticed that they had a new exhibit about the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. I thought that it would be interesting, so I went to check it out. The minute I walked into the exhibit, I was amazed. I think that after this, you will be also. Okay, first of all, let me introduce you to the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. The Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System is a robotic device that is controlled by the surgeon. who is sitting by the computer that allows them to control the machine, and the computer gives them a perfect view of what they're doing. The surgeon has little controllers that are connected to the, ro to the robot's tiny robotic hands. The tiny robotic hands are doing what a surgeon could do alone and more. This specific machine has robotic hands that can turn 360 degrees each way. These robotic hands can turn even more directions than even the human wrist. This is why it makes it much easier for the surgeons to work on the patient. This machine also helps patients recover faster. You may be wondering, how does the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System help them recover faster? I was wondering the same thing too. But now I can tell you. There are different ways that a Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System is better for fast recovery. For example, the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System helps you recover faster because when the surgeon alone has to give you a surgery, they have to make a way bigger incision in you so they can get their hands in your body. Yet, the robot does not have to give you a big incision because the tools that it uses are very small. This is very good because that because then instead of having a big recovery from a big incision, you can recover faster from a tiny incision. You may be asking yourself, why do we use robots at all? I imagine that you might be thinking, because it's helpful, or because it helps you recover. Well, if you're thinking that, then congrats, you're correct. But there's a little bit more to it than that. Robotic surgery opens the door to new opportunities for surgeons and patients. Robotic surgery helps allow surgeons to, to be very precise when they are working on a hard precision procedure. For example, cardiothoracic surgery. Cardiothoracic surgery is a process of getting a surgery in your heart. And when this happens, the surgeon has to really pay attention, be flexible, and makes really precise movements. Another example of why we use robots for surgery is that surgeons can see what they are working on so much better because it is magnified on a large screen. This makes it much easier for the surgeon for the surgeon to make those very precise movements. Lastly, there are many fewer fewer complications such as fewer infections, less pain, and less blood loss, which all leads to faster healing. Okay, we have talked about the Da Vinci robotic surgery is helpful and better than what we used to have and do, but I wonder if there are any things that maybe they have in common, or any things that maybe the Da Vinci robotic surgical system isn't very good about? Let's find out. So, the, so robotic surgery has robotic arms that do the surgery instead of the surgeon. The surgeon can make better movements, and the surgeon needs special training to use it. Laparoscopic surgery, the surgeon has to keep looking up at the screen to see what they're doing. They do not need special training, but they still need to go to school for it. They can move only to the wrist limits, and this is better for beginners because of challenge. Surgeons began performing laparoscopic surgery in 1910. Laparoscopic surgery all, also used small incisions but the doctor stood over the patient using tools directly, du directly, and had to look through a camera to the patient's body, just like I said. This was very hard and required hand, very good hand-eye coordination. In 1990, robotic surgery was invented by a company called ASAP. But the Da Vinci robotic surgical system was invented still by ASAP, but 
was invented in 2000 and was the first robotic surgical system in, um, approved, by, approved by the FDA for general laparoscopic surgery. Wow, I think that this, all of this is amazing. Don't you? I hope that neither you or I will ever need to get surgery, but if either of us really need to get surgery, I think that is good to know that there is a less painful machines out there to take into consideration.